Hi guys, welcome back to Model Image. If this is your first time, hi, my name is Roche. I'm a lover of fashion, the business of fashion. I'm also a little obsessed with vintage. For today's thrift haul, I went back to uh, my local Salvation Army and I really like the items that I found. So I'll just go straight into the come thrift with me. I didn't get a lot of footage, but you can see what I was, you know, going towards. And then we'll come back here for the haul and after the haul I'll do a full styling try on for you guys. So I didn't find a huge variety of items, but what I found, I really like. So the first thing I got is a snakeskin shirt. It's a long sleeve button down, and I'm really back into, you know, some animal print, and but in a tasteful way. And I think a tasteful way of doing this is just in these two colors. It's just brown and black, so it's not you know it's it's still very muted even though it's animal print um and i just really liked the pattern of this and i think it will look really good with my skin tone um this is by solutions new york this looks like about a 90 late 90s early 2000s label so a newer vintage piece <laughs> what i really like is really soft and it's very thick so it's very weather appropriate um, I can get away wearing this and still feel um, some kind of shield from the cold. So this is the first piece and I'm looking forward to styling this. The next thing I got is an accessory piece and it is a vintage coach. Now, when it comes to vintage coach leather, I'm like a moth to a flame. So when I saw this, I instantly, I knew it was a coach even before I saw the you know, the emblem plate inside. And what this has is this back pocket right here. There's also another little pocket in the front. So it's a nice functional little crossbody. And this reminds me of the Louis Vuitton Carucci, something. <laughs> it also has this little, um, what do you call this? Latch at the bottom here, and then you open it up like that. Um, so yeah, this is exactly how I saw it. I haven't cleaned it up or anything, but I know that these, you know, you can literally, you have like leather soap and you can recondition it. So I'm, I think I'm really interested in seeing what it would look like in the after. <laughs> I really like the length of the straps as well. I'm five foot four. Sometimes the straps on bags can be a little long, um, but even 
here I can still make it shorter if I want. There's still this is at the lowest of the holes and it, it works. So if I wanted to make it shorter, even like a shoulder bag you can't see, um, I guess I could make the holes shorter. So this is the second piece that I got. A little another little coach bag. But yeah. So the next piece, if you've if you've seen a few of my videos, you know, I've been um like seen red. I'm like a bull. When I see red, it was I went through a phase where it's like it was screaming at me, like burning my retina. But I think I've <laughs> warmed back up to red. I've been definitely gravitating to a lot more red pieces. And this jacket, when I tried it on, it just was such a good fit. Now, it was there the last time I went and no one um, picked it up. So when I went back and saw it, I'm like, okay, let me try it on this time. <laughs> I tried it on. It fits really well. You'd have seen in the Come Surf With Me. It actually fits really well. So I decided to pick it up. I also love that it has these gold buttons on it. Um, I'm also a sucker for, you know, gold buttons on blazers. It's also on the cuffs. And I just really like the structure of it. This is by David Brooks Limited. You can see here. It's a size 10. It does have an inside pocket. This does feel like and fit like a female blazer. But the fact that it has internal pockets and the label here, that's usually typical of menswear. So I'm not so sure, but I do love how thick it is. I love the material of it. I'm not sure if you can, if it's picking up. It's just a nice wool blazer and the fit was so good so <laughs> i'm gonna you know i'm working it into my wardrobe i'm we're going for red okay we're, we're doing red we're, we're doing it <laughs> the next item i got is another blazer it was very you know suiting heavy for this trip but i love them so this is this green blazer i love the length of it it's a very long line blazer i love the pockets here that's giving it you know just a little just a little more unique of a touch i love these big lapels it's almost like i think you'd call them a smoking jacket with these long lapels so i really like that as well this is by theo miles and this again looks like a good early 2000 um label so i really i just really like it the color is not showing up as much it's looking a lot more muted on the screen but really it's a i don't know it's a, just a good pastel -y kind of green color i have a similar jacket but it's not you know it's more like springtime lighter weather this again is a good um thick material which is what I loved this thrift trip. I just found some really good um, current season fabric in these wares. So uh, what does it say? It says 60% wool, 10% angora. I think that's like rabbit. 10% um, cashmere, which would explain why it's so soft and 20% nylon. So it's just, it feels really soft and, you know, very cozy as well for a blazer. So this is the second piece now the final and most exciting piece to me is i found a three-piece freaking suit <laughs> so i love the color it's like this taupey um taupey brown and i really love the color of it so it is definitely oversized but i decided i was going to take it home and try it i'm not sure if i was able to get a clip of it in Salvation Army. It was very busy. People were knocking me about. So <laughs> usually on those days, it's hard to film. But um, this is a three-piece suit. Uh, if you saw in my last video, I was looking for my gold vintage brooch. I found it and I immediately put it on top of this. So this is with the vest. It does have a little um, one of those things where you can make it smaller. And then we have the pants under here the reason i have them on hangers is i had them in the bag and i forgot to take them out so i had to put everything on hangers to try and you know straighten them out um and give them a good steam so that's why they're all on hangers because i didn't want them to get crushed again <laughs> 
So that is the pieces that I got. Let me see this now. So the suit is made in Yugoslavia and it is by um, von, First, von Furstenberg and it's the Prince Egon collection. Um, I actually found this online and it's a whole thing that I was reading about, you know, this Prince Egon. I'm like, why does he have a collection? So, you know, this is a very well tailored um, suit. Now, what I realized is a lot of the times I, I'm thrifting and I see pants and they have no labels on it. And I'm like, oh, maybe this was just someone ma making it for like a work pants or just for work. But what I realized, this is a very um, high end suit but they only put the labels inside the jacket. There's no labeling in the pants. There's no labeling in the vest other than it says, um, other than it has like size 42, just a small little tag here. But outside of that, they only have the, the label, the brand label just in the blazer. So a lot of times I pass the pants and I'm like, oh, it must be homemade when actually if you found the blazer that it attached to, you would have found the brand. Maybe I'm new, you know. <laughs> so, so I learned. So it didn't. This didn't click to me until I found this entire suit, and I'm like, oh, so they didn't put the label in the pants as well. So that was interesting to see. For more modern suits, I definitely see the labels in both the pants and the, the the jacket so this is probably because it's a more vintage suit and even just looking at the style of the label i'm not sure if you can see that um <laughs> this is definitely a vintage suit so to find a vintage three-piece suit day made it's a little big we're rocking it <laughs> It's all of, it's all the rage right now, so I think I'll fit right in with my oversized suit. Also, just this color, I have so many more darker color suiting. So when I saw this color, you know, I just had to try it. So I'm going to definitely enjoy wearing the heck out of this suit as well. <laughs> So for the green blazer, I wanted to play with denim on denim for this look. So I have put on this um, denim shirt, my denim skirt. I've paired it with this vintage like emerald green belt. I just love the chunky gold on this. And I've also paired it with some snake boots. These are by Steve Madden. Um, these are one of the boots that I said I bought. I actually found this colorway on Poshmark because I was seeing it in other colors and um, on my on the website I think it was just a yellowy one that was left and I found this version which I much prefer the color of this so I just decided to go denim on denim use the green as a pop of color and because these are like just solid color block I could play with some prints by adding these boots to it so this is my green blazer look and I love how it looks with my full denim attire. So for the snakeskin shirt, I decided to pair this with a pleated skirt and some over the knee boots. So this is with this together. Now, because it's getting cold, you know, this over the knee boots is giving it maximum protection, but I still can have a little fun with a little pleated skirt and it's not too short. So I love the two of them together, you know, also playing down the leopard print. And as you can see, it's just, it's not like it's in your face. And I just loved that. This is my vintage chain belt that I've doubled just to put here. I really need to look for a nice chunky gold necklace. So that's on my list. But for now, I'm just wearing my um, little vintage belt here. And this is how I'd pair this. I think it's just nice and fun um, and relaxed, you know. I don't have to worry about any moving parts with an outfit like this. I could wear a crossbody. I could also throw my uh, Louis Vuitton in the black epi. And this is just a nice casual look as well. But um, because it's getting chillier, throwing a coat over it would be pretty easy as well. And this coat is a vintage Wilson's leather coat. I love 
the little fur collar. Um, and I love the color that's working with this shirt. So if I was looking for a coat, this is definitely the one I'd pull for. Adding a little, you know, leather action, still have my Louis Vuitton Epi. And this is just such an easy throw on, but very chic piece <laughs> i'm not losing any style factor with this um very 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 chic in fact so uh this is definitely one for the books for fall so so this is a final look for this piece yeah <laughs> So I decided to go very classic style for the red blazer and I've just paired it with a white button down and um, deep blue jeans, like a medium wash, black belt and these Western boots by Colin, St Colin something, Stuart, I'll tell you. <laughs> but I just love the heel and the toes on these and I just love um, pairing these boots with like a nice cropped straight leg. So I thought these boots would have been perfect for this look. So it's a bit traditional. And then, you know, you add in that little Western um, inspired flair and it gives it a nice cool but chic look. And for bags, I've just paired it with this vintage Celine. I think this is a perfect fit. Um, I love having a few cross bodies, especially for fall. Uh, you know, we have so many layers. It's just good to be able to be hands-free. And it's funny. Um, deciding to pair Celine with this because this is a very Celine like fall winter 2021 20, look they went away from like 2019 was such a good runway for Celine for me it was very glam but you know not overly done and I loved quite a bit of the looks they went very casual I think after you know the pandemic they wanted to go really casual so they did a lot of denim with like cowboy boots and blazer kind of look so this is actually you know hinting a lot to the Celine so um funny I paired the Celine bag with this but yeah this is my full this is how I style the blazer and I don't hate the red to be honest so I think I'm coming around I used to wear red a lot and then you know it's like ah it's too bright and <laughs> now um looking at it I really love this look i loved this haul because it was a lot of everyday wearable pieces um that i found um so yeah this is another look that i like and the blazer it fits so well i love that it's a little cropped you know i love being able to show my bling <laughs> so <laughs> this is um the look for this now for the three-piece suit, the pièce de résistance. I'm sure that's wrong, but <laughs> this is the three-piece suit. This is what the suit looks like. I've just paired it with these Air Force Fonts. This is with the full three-piece suit. Now, the good thing with this is I could easily just wear the vest and pants by themselves, and this would be perfect. Now, the entire suit um, typically at like Goodwill, um, Salvation Army is like $24, but I did donate about three bags of items. So for the entire thing, I did get a discount, you know, still for $25, this would have been great. And if you go on one of those half price days, you could have gotten it for like half price. So, and so this is, so I've put the vintage brooch here. I could have just put on a white t-shirt under this as well, but I decided to go tone on tone um, with this uh, taupey brown t-shirt as well. And I think just for a nice casual look, this would have been fine. This is, you know, it, the pants is a bit big, but I don't mind that everything is just hanging. So yeah, I don't mind if everything's just a little bit oversized. It's just really nice and comfy uh now the three-piece suit is an anomaly i you know i've never seen them intact like this so you know it was just such a good find let me show you with just the blazer so this is just with the blazer i kept the t-shirt on um if i have if i keep the pants like low swung then it will be like just like this i can always push the sleeves up as usual and then I have a completely different look for the suit. Um, I could also, you know, take the waist in eventually <laughs> and have it
it a little higher. So it's still such a nice uh, functional piece. This is with the sleeves down, just really relaxed. I don't even know if I choose the sleeves for this. I just leave it nice and relaxed. It's getting so hard to film because the light is going so quickly these days. But for bag, let me do bags quickly. I love the idea of my Prada Galleria with this. They're in the similar um, tones and I think this would give it a nice little pop to the tone and tone of the suit. So I love the idea of just doing this little bag, carrying it in my hand um, and just a nice relaxed look. So this is my three-piece suit. <laughs> I can't believe my luck. So, you know, sometimes you have really good luck, but you know, I, every time you go, there's always, it's always an experience. So I'm really happy for my looks. So what I love about this through Paul is a lot of these looks are just like my go-to um, styling. These are what I'd call my elevated casual looks. So um, this is a, you know, a very, nice little comfort zone area for me for for this <laughs> third pal for this styling look and oh my god i just loved all these pieces and i can't wait to wear them out basically so <laughs> that is the final piece guys so guys i said thank you so much for watching don't forget to let me know in the comment section what look was your favorite what piece is your favorite i think we know i'm all over that three-piece suit Hello. <laughs> also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet subscribed. I'd love for you to join the family. Don't forget to like this video if you did like it. And I'll see you guys in the next one.